I'm live. I got my overnight outs with berries, steel cutouts with berries. Soaked overnight. And then I cook them for six minutes. And now I put in a banana today. I usually put in other berries, blueberries or other berries. And but when I couldn't sleep last night, I was thinking about warm bananas in my oatmeal. That's what I used to like to eat. And, and uh, I just got on eating oatmeal. Like an oatmeal kick. So let's have a bite. First bite going in. There's nobody here. I went off and came back, so. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Delicious. Oh, almost rolled away. I'm on my exercise bike. <laughs> exercise ball. It's good. I love it. I love it so much that I made up three jarfuls last night, put it in the fridge. So that'll do me three days. Mmm. Mmm. That was close to a catastrophe. Well, it wouldn't be that big of a catastrophe, but... Mm. It's still chewy. The oats. Overnight oats. I see one person. Oh, they're gone. Hi. Welcome. I don't recognize your name. Overnight steel cut oats with berries. And then I put it in the microwave for five minutes, six minutes, and then I just chopped up a banana in it. Mmm. Yes. I had a lot of gut issues before I started eating this way. And they're all, they're all reversed. Do you know any parody tricks? Hello? I, I don't know. What kind of parody tricks? I don't know.
What kind of party tricks? Oh no, I don't oh no, I don't know any. <laughs> I like the little red kitty cat. Picture. I'm a kitty cat lover. But I'm outdoors and the kitty cats are in the house. Someday I'll go on live and I'll uh, pick them up and <laughs> show you. Callie is 16, 15 or 16 pounds. Good. Anybody that loves cats must be a good person to love them and treat them right. So many people have cats, but they don't treat them very good. Yeah. Ours are spoiled rotten. Imagine everybody's are. <laughs> if they love their kitty. Yeah, at least a couple of the plant-based do uh, doctors that I uh, watch and follow, they eat oatmeal every day. This is chewy and I like it chewy. I'm not into foods that you just swallow whole. love the trees this time of year because they uh, are privacy from the road. I got my phone charging in here. I'm on my exercise bike. Exercise ball. If I say that again, exercise bike when I'm on a ball. The only thing about on live is if you drool your food or something or you can't edit it out. <laughs> I wonder if you can edit it after it's uploaded. If you want to. I don't think. 
certain things. You can probably change the title and stuff like that, but. After I get done here, I'm going to have to go in there on that computer again. Try to get that doctor appointment. Online doctor appointment. This is beautiful. Next time I might chop my banana in it and then put it in for six minutes. And then the banana, oh, it sweetens up and gets so delicious when it's warm. Two minutes after one. Oh, and I got my clock up here behind me too. My pink clock. I remember to take it over to work in the wood last night after supper. It's really breezy. Come back. It almost blew this away off the table. just figured out how to look at the comments. <laughs> the blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries that I put in here makes it pink. We all know how I love pink. Hello, Maria. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? I think you should be sleeping. <laughs> it's after two o'clock. 
That stuff gums in my my teeth. 2 a.m. How come you're not sleeping? I hope uh, Bunny didn't have another barfing attack in the night again. Oh, you're editing a video. I know, it takes time, doesn't it? It takes a lot of time to edit. I made two videos this morning, one walking and one Tea Tuesday and unboxing. And then a live, and now this is the second live. The first live was my bowl of um, potato and vegetables, and this one was my overnight oats with my berries. Feel wide awake, yeah. I've tried not to do it too late. I mean, I have my cute computer on. I watch YouTube or a movie or something. To try to make myself, my eyes, feel sleepy to fall asleep. Yeah, editing a video, yeah. Make you feel wide awake. Oh my goodness, don't even. I waited for two hours. It says it could be a three hour wait. So I sit there and I wait for two hours. Then the message comes on, we canceled your order because there's more uh, uh, more than normal people in your area wanting to talk to a doctor. So they close you off. You can come back in an hour. Come back in an hour? What does it say? A three-hour wait. Now, that's not very... That they got to change that in the system because, and I'm going to be sending an email, and I'm not going to be nasty or nothing, but I'm going to say, well, how come? I know, it is terrible. All this time, how many days now have I been trying? And now they close at four today, so Richie can't do it. Monday's the only day they're open after four o'clock. Oh, I feel like I got a lump on my shin. Don't you have a local doctor surgery? Um, we don't have a family doctor. Our doctor retired last the end of last May, and uh, there was no one to take his place. So we're on a registry to find a doctor or a nurse practitioner, someone that we can actually see in person or maybe do it over the computer or the telephone and they know what you're talking about but you put yourself out there and it could be a doctor anywhere in Nova Scotia they don't know anything about you so anyway I write a bunch of stuff and and for one thing I did mention the the weight loss because there's a lot of medications that if you're heavier, you need a stronger medication. And my doctor hardly ever checked my thyroid. And I haven't had blood work probably three years now. Me or Richie. And we could go to outpatients and sit there and wait for 12 hours or more because they take the sick people first, of course. I know, especially when you're older like me and Rich. Richie's mom, she gets hers done, I think, every three months. And we have to cry and beg. Anyway, calm down, Patty, calm down. <laughs> Don't get your blood pressure up. <laughs> I did take our blood pressure the other day, and it was, I have to once a year with my diabetes and thyroid. Is your thyroid low or high? Well, Richard was borderline. He was seven. His number was seven. And the doctor said if it goes any higher, he is diabetic. Oh, the weather is gorgeous. Yeah, mine's low as well. Uh, it's gorgeous here today. The trees are, are uh, dancing in the wind. There's a beautiful breeze blowing through here. 
and whoa, are they ever blowing? But it doesn't feel like, if I upset that water all over myself, <laughs> it doesn't feel like a July day, actually. It feels more like September. But that's all right. I'd rather have that than blistering heat and It, it is peaceful. I mean, I have the traffic going by, but the trees are, are like, they can't see me and I can't see them. And I love this time of year for that reason. Because nobody can gawk in and spy on you. <laughs> um, I think we're supposed to get maybe some rain in the night. I hope we do, because then I won't have to water my cucumbers and tomatoes again <laughs> oh and zucchini i watered them last night when i come home from splitting wood yeah probably after supper we'll split some wood again richie took a load over with him to work today um yes um, like I'm just in a royal, little royal community, 15 minutes from, from 20 minutes from Lockport, 20 minutes from Shelburne, 30 minutes from Liverpool, Nova Scotia, where I was born. Um, yeah, you don't hear much. We have an Irving Grange here in our community over on the, the main road, the 103 Trans Canada. And that got broken into four or five times, but that's different than just coming and breaking into your home. Well, one time way back, gun crime, no. If there is, I don't know about it. One time years ago when Richard and I was on our break. Hi, Daphne. Oh, no, that's not Daphne. Daphne? Oh, I don't know how to say that. Um, Lainey, hi! Gee! It's nice to be able to speak to my friends. Anyway, Richard was here alone, and he had... Oh, I must have said it right. <laughs> the back window the somebody had cut the screen oh yeah i was thinking that laney yeah this is this is maybe four or five times i've been on live the only thing with doing it live is it takes so long to process the other day it took 12 hours to process and get up but i don't have to edit it either <laughs> I had my bowl of uh, my bowl of potatoes and vegetables and pickle juice, and then I ate my um, what do you call it? My overnight oats, my steel cut oats with berries and banana. Um, Maria and I were just talking about the crime rate around here. There, many years ago, this was like between 1999 and. 2006 and somebody cut the screen on the outside of the window when Richie was here alone yeah I was living in a different house and he was living here yeah but that's over with now we found our way back to each other before we got in some kind of a unhappy relationship just because we was lonely so I was glad of that and you know what they say i know it's scary maria but i don't really worry about it um uh, yeah oh and recently since richard's had that his parents house over there somebody tried to break in his door there well we were always friends 
we remained friends the whole time we were apart, except a short space he had a girlfriend, and she didn't like me hanging us hanging around together, so we didn't, because I didn't want to make waves in his relationship. And you know what they say, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, you know it's yours. And so, he was living in a house around the river. I'll show you someday. And I used to visit him over there. I used to ride my bike over. And I would visit with him over there. And then one night, January 12th, 2006 he called me up and said uh, what are you doing can you come and kidnap me oh potatoes and celery juice I can't do celery juice it's too strong for me anyway so yeah that's not the end and so he called up and he said, uh, do you want to come kidnap me? And I said, why? Are you single or are you playing away? And he said, no, I'm single. So then I went and got him and he never left. <laughs> and that was in 2000 and early 2007. We got married the second time in... Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't beat the potatoes. I just love them. I love the simplicity of it. And there's just no pressure for me to try to make this recipe or that recipe. I just cook my potatoes and vegetables and I eat them. Anyway, the second time we got married, we had a screen tent right over there where that yellow thing is, that generator. We had a screen tent over there. It was a big screen tent. Richard and I got married. I'll see if I can find a picture and put it here. Oh no, I can't because I'm live. Um, anyway, we had two ministers <laughs> and my youngest daughter and Richie's parents. And that's that was 2008, June the 8th. 2008. Oh my land, it's a hurricane! I don't know if it's a hurricane or a hemicane. <laughs> One time a pen pal said that to me. Is that a hurricane or a hemicane? <laughs> Her or him? Mm, yeah, that was a long time ago. I don't do pen paling anymore because I can't hold on. I don't have pain from the arthritis, but it's hard for me to hold on to small things. I know it almost blew off. That wouldn't be funny because it's a bad air day. <laughs> Every day is a, a bad hair day for me. Our <laughs> game joke, yeah. Um. I tried the rice, Laney. I don't know if you've been watching since I tried the rice. And I ate the rice three days in a row because I made a, a batch. And my pants immediately started to get uh, tight on me. And it took me a good month or more to get my pants back to the way they were. And if I ever eat any again, I'll just eat like one day, one meal a week. And freeze the rest. Yeah, it bloating, but it lasted. It lasted. I'm only back now into the belt loop that it is easy, isn't it? Is that because of the thyroid, uh, Maria, that we get gain easy? Well, I know back when I, before I even knew it, I gained 50 pounds and I didn't change my diet. I, I was eating healthy at the time and I was hiking and biking and canoeing and all kinds of skiing and everything. And I didn't change. <laughs> no, you're just greedy. <laughs> I love, yeah, food is, 
it is a pleasure. <laughs> and so I went to the doctor and I said, I gained 50 pounds. Took me years to put on weight after going back on animal protein. Oh, really? I had to get off of the animal protein and I didn't know it before I got off of it, but it, um, it fixed all my gut issues, my digestive problems, yeah. And some of them I had since I was a baby, so, yeah, animal products. Yeah, I get my protein from my plants and my grains, too, I think, have... Now I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, um, I follow Dr. Bernard, vegetarian program. I know him. Well, I know him on YouTube. So, uh, oh yeah, so I gained the 50 pounds. I said to the doctor, yay for plants. <laughs> Can't beat them. And uh, I said, I gained 50 pounds and I didn't change my eating or my movement. And she checked my thyroid and sure enough, it was low. And then I proceeded to gain seven, uh, 20 more pounds. And she said, oh, don't worry about that. And she was like, Right thin, like a lemonade cleanse, and then going back to the vegetarian program. Yeah, I saw that on on your uh, video. I think it was on the title. Uh, something about a le lemonade cleanse. Yeah, I did one cleanse one year. Candida. For candida clans. Yeah. That reminds me. I forgot to put my flax seed in my. Ha, my overnight oats. And. Uh, because instead of using psyllium. Husks or whatever. I couldn't use those. So. Do you? Salad's boring. Well, I always put a lot of stuff in my, uh, I like a variety and different colors and textures and temperatures. Oh, okay, yeah. I never did a liver cleanse before. I hate the leafy texture. Well, you know what I do, Maria? I, ch I, um, I chop mine right up fine. There's like a couple women like Chef AJ and uh, Tammy and Tom off of uh, Notebook Net, Net, Nutmeg Net Work. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Yeah, and they have a bowl and they have a cutter thing and they just chop it up really, really fine. Because I can't do the whole leaves like that either. Yes. That's what I do. Oh, see you, Lainey. Enjoy your potatoes, honey. I'm glad you caught me. See you soon. Kisses. <laughs> yeah, first time she saw me live. Oh, just had a cramp in my belly. So, do I have anything un that I was supposed to add to. Well, that's nice, Maria, saying bye to Lainey, too. She's another lovely lady. And, uh, oh, gee, now I can't remember what her channel name is. Oh, Lainey, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so hard to remember everybody. Especially when you... <laughs> when you got a brain that's like a sieve. Or a colander. I said that one time with my brother-in-law and Richard. A sieve? What's a sieve? I never heard tell of that before. I said, well, it's like what you drain your spaghetti in. Oh, yeah, it is... Uh, strange and in the beginning I thought I had to type 
laundry. I did laundry late last night because Richard, 20 to, 20 to 9 last night, calls me up from the house over there. His leg of his jeans blew a big hole in it. And he said, I don't have any clean jeans. Oh, I guess that means I have to do laundry then. Well, if you would. <laughs> okay, see you, Daphne. Daphne. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do butcher names. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm worried about Maria in the middle of the night. <laughs> I hope this isn't stimulating. A tumble dryer then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, an uh, electric dryer, yeah. I went years and years and years without one, but then me and Richie got one, and we've had one ever since. Yeah, it's out in the back porch. And that back porch has got a fridge, it's got a dryer, it's got a stove, a microwave. It's my second kitchen. And this is my third kitchen, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. It would be really nice, especially when I know you guys get a lot. No, I don't know about there. I'm thinking of England. But if you get a lot of uh, wet days and cold, windy days in the winter when you don't want to hang them on the line. Yeah. I have to hang my clothes like on hangers in the house and dry the air dry them that way or else they'll get the dryer smell on them. So you did a pressure cooker. Oh my goodness. I hope you fall in love with it like I did. I wouldn't be without one now. If that broke, I'd have to get right online and try to find one. For a good price. Sale price. Easy? Oh my goodness, is it ever easy. I just take my liner. Well, there's no liner in it now because it's in the house. Take the liner and I throw in my whole carrots, my whole pieces, chunks of turnip. You can put a whole cauliflower in there with the leaves and everything. And you can eat the leaves of a cauliflower. And... Like if you want to make cauliflower bisque, bisque, <laughs> and um, yeah, I just do that and I put in my bag of coleslaw and my frozen cut up vegetables, uh, mushrooms, water, and whatever seasonings you want to put in, and you just throw it all in there, you bring it out, and you, well, yours is probably in your kitchen, <laughs> and you put it in there. Put the cover on, make sure it's on seal, and then you click whatever one you want to on there. It's got a lot of different things that you can, uh, cycles, I guess. And I put mine on manual, and I just put, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight minutes, whatever. And, uh, yeah, and you just leave it and forget it. And if you really do forget it or you go away somewhere up the road or take the dog for a walk. Oh, you don't have a dog. Neither do I. But And um, and you come back and it'll already naturally release. Or, well, you just throw everything in. You put it on. And it takes maybe 20 minutes to for the pot to come up to pressure. But then after it comes up to pressure, then it goes its five or whatever minutes. And then you can either uh, move the thing, but be careful of the steam. <clears throat> and uh, this thing here, this is on, on uh, seal. This is on seal, and this is to let the steam out. You can do it either way. And it takes about 20, 20 minutes. But I have my pot full. Like, when I do it, I do a full six quarts. And uh, then you can just wait until the, the little red thing pops down. Or maybe yours isn't red, I don't know. But I think this one's red. Yeah. 
when that goes down, it means the pressure's gone and you can open your lid and scoop out your soup. And if you've been to town for a couple hours and you come back and it's on, say this says uh, L2 hours, it's still warm. It'll keep it warm for you. Uh, I don't know how many hours. I don't know how many hours. Up to how many hours. I don't know. <laughs> I know I get right excitable when we talk about my pressure pot. <laughs> or how easy it is to make the soup. Yeah, you just throw everything in. and Throw the water in it. Turn it on. I learned all that from watching Chef AJ. She'd throw in the whole potato and the whole this and the whole that. And go down and, and walk the dog. I want to make chili con carne and chicken curry and things like that. You certainly can. You certainly can. Like, I don't really do recipes. I never ate curry in my life. And the last time I made chili was in 1985. <laughs> yes, do a tutorial. For people that want to follow a recipe, unlike me, I just throw everything in. But the last time I made chili was in 1985, and I made I. It's the only thing that I could think that made me have uh, food poisoning. Not much spice now. My mouth burns just all the time anyway from eating normal food. But yeah, I went to work. I was throwing up, and I was on the in the loo i'll put it that way for i was really really sick they took me to the doctor somebody from the plant the fish plant where richie works only it was national sea products like captain highliner you know how captain highliner well that's who i work for yeah i know it was <laughs> it was awful but that's the only thing i can figure that i ate that of course, nobody else got it, so I don't know. Maybe it was just a bug. I don't know. But I always just joke around and say I gave myself food poisoning. <laughs> oh, Maria. <laughs> How many pink tripods does a girl need? It was horrendous. In the low, low, and excuse me, friends, if this is TMI, but from both ends. Oh, seven days? That was bad. <laughs> I, it took a long time to get this one. A couple months, I ordered a couple months ago. And that was before I got my other... <laughs> what was that? Oh. My little do flicky. My little do flicky uh, thing that takes a picture. It's got a little little place there that it fits in, so it doesn't uh, get lost. Yeah, look at this. Wait until Richie sees this. Is it a small like this, or is it the telescope one that can go up to five feet or more? I got three of them in the kitchen. Well, two's in the living room, one's in the kitchen. I know, I have a tripod for every occasion. <laughs> oh, lordy. Oh, which one the same as mine? This pink one here, or this one? This is a selfie stick one. And it has a little light on it. If I want to do it after dark. I ordered my daughter one for her birthday. And I she wanted green. And I looked back and the only one that didn't have the light was a green one. So she doesn't have a light now. She's jealous. <laughs> I would be too if that was me. And somebody else had a... A light? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Yeah, that Chantel's got one like this, only it's red. I think hers has got red. Not all the way, maybe just the feet. But I did watch a video of Chantel last night, and she was actually being kind of sensible. <laughs> and, of course, I go there to look at Sam and, and BBJ, too, and Pete's. But, yeah, she was... Almost like the old Chantel, and I really enjoyed it last night. So, but most of them I just skip right by. If she's just laying in bed, yapping about you-know-who, or... <laughs> well, now she says she's got a 22-year-old lover, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what she named it. I don't know what it was called. But it was just last night, I think, a new one. I don't watch the ones that she's just laying in bed talking and, yeah, I'd rather she was up cooking or cleaning or shopping or doing something or grocery haul or, she's a cougar. <laughs> Me too, but mine's only eight years younger. She's 33. Well, if she can catch one, that's good for her. And then there was a time when I had a boyfriend who was... I was 39. He was 74 or 76, something like that. We went to... Uh, we, we went to church. At a church where he used, usually went. And nobody saw me out there before. It was in a different town. And they thought I was his daughter. One of his daughters. He had 11 or 12 kids. <laughs> yeah. And the father of my first daughter is 19 years older than I am. I know, but I didn't know how old he was. He kind of acted younger. He could still kind of jump and click his heels together and, you know, do stuff. And <laughs> Anyway, that didn't last long, that relationship. So that was a close call for me. <laughs> it was a close call for me, I know. I caused a scandal. Well, not just me. We both caused a scandal. And... I had to take him to court, and I was happy being single uh, for a while, about six years, because I could, I came and went as I pleased. I went with my friends. I would go and I would camp out in their yard for six weeks at a time or whatever. And yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing in a small community. Everybody knows everybody else and they, their business and. And it's not like people are really friendly. Because, well, I guess I was an, an outsider. And, yeah, only one family kind of befriended me. Whoa! <laughs> yes, gossip. I don't really like gossip. And I'm trying not to gossip. But uh, what really is gossip is like me and Richard, if we're talking in the, the vehicle at the parking lot and we're just saying this or that, is that gossip? Or is that just mentioning? I'll have to look at the real name of gossip, I guess. Like we would never say anything to hurt anybody, but, or air their dirty laundry or <laughs> I got enough of my own to air skeletons in my closet yeah yeah I wasn't always this innocent I'll put it that way oh, okay I know what it means then <laughs> I might as well uh, do my exercise ball yeah <laughs> 
I do my exercise ball on my exercise ball. Oh, I'm too far away. Uh-oh. You better get some sleep, because what time is it now? 2.40. You better get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, you try. I hope you're not all excited and revved up from talking and watching this crazy old <laughs> lady. <laughs> I walked. I know, I was so happy when I saw you come. On. I thought for sure it'd be too late. But... That was a big machine on the back of a big truck. Made a big noise too, didn't it? There's two other people here too, but I don't know who they are. But anyway, I want you to have some sweet dreams if you dream. I said that to my friend the other night and he said, well, what kind of a sweet dream? <sighs> he has to be so <laughs> specific. <laughs> I said, well, don't dream then. <laughs> Just have a peaceful sleep. Please. <laughs> oh, I know. I got to get in there and get on that doctor thing again. What is it? Almost two o'clock? I only got three hours. No, I only got two hours before they close. That's when they cut me off anyway, two hours, cut me off, instead of giving me the three hours. And then when I come back, come back in an hour, and you come back and you have to start at three hours again. All right, I'll stop complaining about that. <laughs> if I remember. <laughs> well, friends, I, I wish I knew who all was here. So I could say, see you to everyone, each and every one. Michelle finally caught me. Michelle, the introvert. She caught me on live, on my first live, when I was eating my main bowl of potatoes and vegetables. Oh, now there's four people. Oh, my heavens, I'm going to blow away. Holy smokes! You should see the trees! I hope it keeps that up though. Oh, Tammy. Oh, hi Tammy! Alright, uh, Maria. Talk to you later, hon. Tammy! Hello, Tammy! How did you get an upside down exclamation mark? Steve and Nina! Hi! Well, that's probably nine, but anyway, hi, hi. I ate my my lunch out here, my brunch, and I ate my main bowl of food, and then I ate my overnight oats with uh, berries and banana. Oh, my goodness, that was so good. And I did a tea Tuesday. Hi, sweetie. I hope you have a nice day there today, too. Oh, you didn't know you did it, so you don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's a beautiful, glorious, breezy day here today. It doesn't even feel like July. It doesn't. Uh, knock on wood, because I'd rather it this than uh, hot and humid. And I can't even move without sweating. I don't sweat very easy. But... I did a walk this morning, and I didn't throw in any wood today yet. Oh, you guys want to see my bruise? Well, that's nice, Tammy, saying hi to Steve and Nina. Oh, here's my bruise I got the other day when that stick flew and hit me right there. Oh, she sees you, Tammy. She sees you. Tammy. I forget where you live. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I have so many people to try to remember where they live.
I mean, there's a lot of people that I don't know where they live. They don't really leave comments. Mississippi! M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 we used to sing that. <laughs> Mississippi. So, that's probably an hour or two behind me. I'm almost quarter to two here. 1.44. So, you're probably one or two hours behind me. Like I was talking to Maria was on here in Australia. She's 13 hours ahead. She was editing and she saw me and she talked for half an hour. So, she got to try to get some sleep. 50 and Fabulous is her channel. Steve and Nina is Steve and Nina Homesteads, I think, now. Okay, yeah. Oh, you're at work. Full back and forth. Sneaking in a little bit of YouTube. <laughs> I would too if I had a job <laughs> at a computer. Well, I have a job, but it's no, it doesn't pay. <laughs> Room and board. The housework part. It's hot. Oh, is it hot there? It's gorgeous here. Uh, it's the wind has got a cool coolness to it. It almost feels like fall, and. Yeah, there's a lot of people complaining about that. Because I know a lot of people have been having it really, really hot. And I'm just so thankful that the, what we're having, because I don't do well with the heat. No, I don't. Don't do well at all. Oh, my. I gotta go back in there on that computer and try to get to talk to a doctor. <sighs> okay, see you, Nina. Have a good day, hon. I'll watch for your video later. I'm just learning how to look at my comments. I can, uh, what's going on? Well... I ate, I walked this morning, and then I I did a video, then I did a tea Tuesday. Oh, okay then, take a rest, <laughs> you well deserve it. So I did a tea Tuesday out here, and I did unboxing, three, two unbaggings and one unboxing, and this, oh! Oh, what's going on about the doctor? Oh, that's a, a long story. We don't have a doctor. So, there's this thing on the internet that's called Maple. And you can register with that. And it's online doctors across Canada. And if you've registered to try to find a doctor or a nurse practitioner, you can talk to these doctors free. Well, the first time, I had to pay $49. and But the doctor came on in 10 minutes. Now, three months later, and the wait is now three to five hours in front of your computer or your phone. And I've been on there, and I it says three hours. Then it'll come on after two hours. It'll come on, and it'll cancel me. And said, cancel, we canceled because there's higher than normal people trying to get through in your area. Yeah, I know, it, it's, a, it's a horror story. Well, I call, it, I call it a horror story. The emergency rooms are full of people coming in and needing prescriptions or blood work papers because they got no doctor to go to. And so, I don't know how many times now I sit there for the two hours, then they close me off said come back in an hour you go back in an hour and it'd start at three hours again and by the time that two hours is over whatever then the place is closed down it only 
open until four o'clock. Yesterday was seven, and I tried to get through, I don't know, three times yesterday. Yeah, because I'm out of my Synthroid, and Richie needs a blood pressure medication. He's taking a lower dose right now, but, and his blood pressure was good. I took his blood pressure the other day, and it was good. It was 125 over 80-something, just like mine. And I don't take any medications for blood pressure anymore. Oops, a good thing the lid was on that. I just dropped it over on its side. So yeah, my daughter, my youngest daughter, was in the outpatients in Liverpool yesterday. Liverpool, Nova Scotia, where I was born. My mother was born and came from. And I was the only kid born there. The other three were born in, uh, you go past Shelburne and down, and there's a hospital down there. Yeah. I used to tease my brothers and sisters and say I was the only one they planned for. I wasn't trying to be mean. I was just trying to uh, be funny, but... <laughs> <laughs> when you're a kid, it could have come off as mean because daddy had two little girls. His first wife died at age 24, I think, in 1948 of MS. And in order for daddy to still work, he put those two little girls with a friend and they they were bringing the little girls up for him. And they were two older sisters. And so then my mom and dad got married. Well, mommy said, uh, he asked her to marry him. And mommy said, I'll marry you if you put a bathroom in. Because there was an outside toilet at that time. So, sure enough, he put in a bathroom. And it was a nice one for those days, too. It had a sink. It had a big iron tub with the, paw, the legs, you know, those kind. And... And a toilet, a flush toilet. <laughs> and I think at that time we had a kitchen Keymac wood stove in the kitchen. It'll take wood or oil. And there was a big tank, water tank in the back. And the water, the stove, heated the water. Well, hi, Jesse. Oh, lucky you got a doctor's appointment. Well... I should rephrase that. If you got a doctor, like I'm having a problem because I don't have a doctor. But good luck at your appointment. So anyway, this big tank, it was somehow piped through to the stove and somehow the stove uh, heated the tank of water. And then my mom and dad got married and then I came along and Thank you, honey. I do, too. Maybe today will be my lucky day. <laughs> and this was my mummy's uh, engagement ring. Some people think I don't have a wedding band because it's not on this finger, but this finger got too small, so it's on this finger with a whole bunch of stuff trying to hold it there. But, yeah, my one-year younger sister got the wedding band to this and I got the engagement ring I know I love it when I got it let's see that was in 2004 is that going to be 18 years when I got it I took it and to a jewelry store and they sized it for me and they fixed it was thin like they said it would would have broke and they uh, fixed the stones or something and sized it for me and I've been wearing it ever since yeah and I'm in a dilemma what to do with it in my will yeah I wanted to go to somebody that's going to appreciate it like me but I don't know anybody like that <laughs> oh my goodness 
Yeah, that's just like my cats. I don't want anybody else to look after them because they can't look after them the same as me. And give them that much love. Hmm. Well, they might, but... Two daughters, 50 and 51. That makes me sound old. <laughs> when you start saying your kids are half a century old. <laughs> I must be three quarters of a century old. No, not quite three quarters yet. I got five more years to go. Two daughters, four grandchildren, two great grandchildren, and I have some in heaven. At least that's where I hope that, like, miscarried babies go. Anyway, yeah. So, maybe one of them will love the ring. Well... The oldest one lost her sister's engagement ring, carrying it around loosely in the back of her car somehow. And I don't know, I want to live another 20, 30 years. And how old are they going to be? Yeah. It wouldn't mean as much to somebody else as it does to me. But I... I don't want to be buried with it on my finger because I can't take that with me to he heaven. So... I don't know. Hopefully I got 20 to 30 years to think about it. <laughs> Oh my, what a crazy old bird I am. Well, friends, I hate to say that I gotta go, but I gotta go in and try that doctor again. And this is an hour and seven minutes. It'll take 24 hours to upload, process. So. I'll just say see you for now. And it's been real fun. <laughs> yeah, I can see where people love to do it. I know, Tammy, it has been nice. See ya. Have a good one, hon. Thanks for uh, talking to me. Later. Now, there's still a couple more people there. There's three. It shows three people. And I hate just to leave and not say anything, but, well, I am saying it with my voice. But, oh no, now it says four again. Three. Oh. Do we have two? Do we have one? Do we have a zero? <laughs> What's that called? auction so I gotta go in go to the little girl's room uh, this thing still smells I won't be able to take that in the house with me um, go in and do my business and get on the computer Thanks, everyone, for stopping by and visiting with me and speaking with me and listening to me, blah, 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 blah. My mouth never stops. And we'll see you in the next one, Lord willing. <laughs>